thought I'd make a little video here. First off, my a little health update. Um, I finished my radiation, I don't know, it was not this past Friday, the Friday before. And then last week, last week was my full, first full week without radiation. And on Tuesday, yeah, I woke up with a splitting headache and by evening I had a fever of 100 and every joint in my body ached and, and uh, yeah, it was, I got pretty rough. I was thrown off, diarrhea, you name it. I ended up in the ER a couple of days on, uh, that was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday I ended up in the ER and they had to pump a bunch of fluids in me and stuff. I didn't eat for three days. I had no appetite. It was hard just choking down a bite of food and uh, I've lost 27 pounds during radiation. So anyway, I'm feeling a little better today, a touch of a headache. They gave me a bunch of prescriptions at the hospital and that are helping. It's basically coming down from the radiation. I'm finding out it's a pretty common occurrence and this is something that can happen for up to six weeks after radiation. So I might, you know, end up having more bouts of this for the next you know, four to six weeks or so. Hopefully not as bad as what I had. Oh my God, I was so sick. I think that was close to one of the sickest I've ever been in my life. Never had any sinus congestion or coughing or anything like that. And uh, when I was in the air, they did flu and COVID tests and all that and all came back negative. They did CAT scans, x-rays, they really checked me over. I was really in bad shape. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty good today. Yesterday, I did, you know, getting October here to get the yard ready for winter. So yesterday I worked in the yard a fair bit and felt pretty good. Today I need to change oil on this. I was supposed to meet up with uh, Martin and Dave with their 59 Chevys at Haney's tomorrow, but I don't know if I feel good enough to get out and do that yet. But anyway, the Typically, I don't drive the car much anymore after this time of year, so I've had the oil and filter sitting there and the zinc and all that stuff for quite a while. And I'll let's pull a dipstick and I'll I'll show you what the oil looks like. Now I added a pint of oil to it, or about a half of. I'll show you I, this oil I bought in the estate sale. So. I don't know where the oil originally was, maybe up here. That's how much oil I added to the engine after a full summer of cruising. And uh, yeah, I bought that in the state sale. It was unopened, so it works good in the car. It's got zinc in it. But let's look at the dipstick here. So there you can kind of see what the, what the oil looks like. That's got 1,400 miles on it. There, that ought to show you pretty good. So let me wipe this thing off so I don't get drips all under the hood. There, you can see the stick wiped off. So anyway, we're gonna, but I gotta run to the bank and do a little running around. And I like to warm the car up to change the oil. So I think I'm gonna do my running around to warm it up and then I'll chain, drain the oil and do a few things in the yard while the oil drains, and then we'll finish it up. I'll grease the chassis another day. I don't feel good enough to climb all under their grease and all the fittings when I feel a little better. But I do want to get the oil changed because they're predicting rain the rest of the week, and I'm not going to be driving this much. If I drive it once or twice again, I, you know, that'll be it. So that's, that's it for the season. And this winter... I am going to repad the seat for sure in this car. I meant to do it last year and never got to it. And I'm going to put seat belts in the car. Just, you know, the way people drive nowadays. Yeah, I want seat belts. Another thing too, if you've been a viewer long enough to where you saw the Catalina, where at that project, Catalina's for sale again, I'll, if I can find the link I'll put it in the description so if any of you guys want to buy the Catalina the the it has had air conditioning added to it but you know it's in Missouri so it's kind of a must and they put seat belts in it which yeah good idea and uh, 
they also took the single master and manual brake set up off it and put power uh, brakes on it with a dual reservoir master cylinder and they put a front disc brake kit on it and uh, you know that's that's all good you know you, if you want to change it somebody wants the car to original they didn't change the car to where you can't put it back to the Catalina to where it couldn't be back, put back to original but I think it said in the ad it had 52,000 miles when I purchased the car, it had been sitting 37 years and had 25,000 original miles. So since I've restored it, the mileage has been doubled. <laughs> so that's kind of neat too. But anyway, like I say, it's for sale. So let me get this thing going and uh, do some running around that I need to do. Well, I guess maybe I could hit the garage door open and get a little more light in here. It's been a while since I've started this car, probably three weeks anyway. So hopefully it it lights off. It's cold out too. It's, it was 38 this morning when I got up. So let's, uh, there we go, up and running. All right, let me get this thing out of the garage here and uh, Surprise the radio and all that's coming on. Get it out of the garage, get going here. Get my. Turn that down so I don't get a copyright. Uh, anyway, let me get going and we'll do a little video when I go to dump the oil and stuff. Oh, back from my errands, it's all warmed up. I let it run. A, the, the more you warm them up, the more it circulates oil and temperature gauges up to normal radio static because I turned the fluorescent light fixtures on. All right, let me uh, get my drain pan. We'll get the, the oil draining. There we are, getting the oil out of the crank case. This is the most important oil change you can do on your classic cars the end of the season before you put it in storage. You want to get all those contaminants from the summer cruising out of the engine. You don't want acidic oil sitting in your bearings. So change the oil in the fall when you're done using your car for the season. Yeah, I might put another 20, 30 miles on it or so, but you know, it's that, that's not gonna contaminate the oil too much. You can see where the sump the sump leaks at both ends right here where this rubber seal is between the pan and the timing cover on the front and between the pan and the rear main cap on the rear it leaks oil. Otherwise it never really have to add much oil to the engine. I think a majority of what I add is because it drips out of here and out of the rear of the sump. But anyway, let me get this, let that drain out a while. I think I'm laying here. I might as well grease the fittings. This car has tons of fittings on it. It's got one on each ball joint, one inner and outer tie rod, steering spool valve, slave cylinder. Same on the other side with fittings, clutch linkage, the bell crank, which is above the exhaust over there. So that's a little bit hard to get at, but... I don't jack it up to change the oil so that the sump see it. I don't know if that shows up or not, but it's on a little bit of an angle. And I want the oil to drain, and if I jack it up, a little bit stays in the back of the sump. So I just drain it like that, and then I jack it up to grease the chassis. So I'm just going to let the oil finish draining. In the meantime, I'll put the filter on and, and uh, get it ready to refill with oil. I know I'll get asked, so I'll show it right now. This is oil I'm using. I had this up in the attic of the garage. I'm putting the zinc additive in it. That's oil filter. I poured some oil in the filter already. And uh, usually I try not to buy the synthetic blends. I try and stick with the crude oil so it leaks less oil because uh, the uh, synthetic molecules are smaller than the crude molecules. But I picked this up in an estate sale for, I think, $4. It was unopened, brand new. Whenever I see like 1040 or something that I can use, 
in estate sales, if it's unopened, I buy it. And, uh, you know, this stuff's like 23 or $4 at the auto parts. So to pay four or five bucks for an unopened bottle in an estate sale, it's totally worth it. So that's why I do buy things like this in sales. And, you know, here I'm getting an oil change for fraction of the cost. I bought a filter and I bought that. That was more than what I paid for this or that. That was like 10 bucks, I think. So anyway, let me uh, put the filter on and we'll get the drain plug back in and refill it. The oil changed. I greased the chassis too. I felt good enough while I was laying under there to where I felt I was already greasing it. So that's done too. Whoops. Let me wind the light up here and we'll crank the engine up and get the oil pressure up here. pretty good. Let me check the oil filter for leaks. Make sure nothing's squirting all over the ground, which it's not. So that's all good. Take it out for a little ride and warm it up a little bit. And then uh, we'll throw it back in the garage. Now there may be another video if uh, Martin and Dave and I meet up with the 359 Chevys at Haney's tomorrow. And I don't know if this video, when this video is going to go up. I got a lot of things I want to get done today. So I got to winterize the pressure washer, but there's a few things I want to clean before I winterize it. So I'm going to do that today too. So anyway, the least oil change done is in this. And like I say, change your oil in the fall. And before you run your car for the last time of the season, run it long enough to dry the exhaust system out so it doesn't have the acids in it and rot it out. I oiled boilers on the generator, the distributor, checked all the fluids, everything's good on the car, it's ready to ready to go. And I, again I'll check the fluids in the spring before I start driving it, but generally I can look on the ground and tell if I need to add any and it doesn't really drip anything out of other than each end of the oil pan. But alright we got it running. Let's go for a short ride and warm it up back up a little bit and then I'll move on to some other things so that will be it for this video if you liked it hit that thumbs up it definitely helps if you like my channel at 348 engine icon I'll subscribe you and thank you for watching my video